Literally, it's been a week. Oh my God. Guys, look at how pretty this looks. Good morning, Legos. You know what? Today is actually day seven of me being in Nigeria. Today is a special day because a lot of you guys know this is almost like tradition to me. Today I'm going to be going to Balogun Market. I don't want to do it this time around. I did not want to go to Balogun Market, but Firstly, for those of you who do not know uh, what Babalu Market is, it is a market, obviously. When I tell you this market is huge, it is huge. Like there's different streets, there's different layers, there's like an upstairs, a downstairs, like buildings on top of buildings, people on top of people. Now I know what you're thinking. It's Corona still. Yes, we are still in a pandemic. That is why I'm gonna be bringing my face shield and I'll be bringing a mask as well. I just need to clean it out a little bit with some Lysol because, you know, obviously I've been wearing it, so, you know. A lot of you guys know it's tradition for me, uh, being that I go shopping there every single time I come, and I buy so many cute clothes. My dear, if you ask the Nigerian now, if they would shout on top of the wall that they're going to a local market, they'd probably say no. Because apparently, a local market is known for cheap, thrifty, fake name brand stuff, so people don't like to go shopping there. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. People do like to go shopping there, but they don't like to talk about it. My dad, you can't shame me. You can't guilt trip me because I know what I'm buying, okay? I get some really cute pieces there. And honestly, if you shop at Fashion Nova or if you shop at Pretty Little Thing or any one of these Instagram boutiques or whatever, chances are they're getting their clothes from China. So majority of the things that you'll find, find in the market are imported things from China. I'm not going there to be buying fake Gucci, fake Louis or anything like that. I'm going there for some cute fashion pieces. And I'm also going because your girl um, forgot to pack. Uh, it's, not that I, it's not that I forgot to pack. I just packed a lot less clothes than I thought I did. Um, you know, I, I don't really have any outfits like at all. Like literally I'm wearing the same outfit I wore in Bennett to go shopping today. When I tell you your girl don't got clothes, I don't got clothes. Now, I didn't come to Nigeria this time to have a dirty December. First of all, it's not even December anyway. But I didn't come here to just like galavan the streets and go out and do this. Like, I didn't do that. That was not the plan today. The, today. the plan was, you know, work, network, do some things. So I wasn't planning on going out as much. But at the end of the day, your girl still got to be outside and slay. Okay, I still have to go out. I still need to look stylish. So I'm going to need some clothes. I do want to take you guys through a few tips. So, being that Balogu Market is very packed, um, very, very packed with people, I think they try to do something now where on certain days they'll have perishables. So perishables are like food, um, I'll have in my mind is food. So like, I think that's what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is things that are not perishable. So a few tips for me that I would say is one, Travel light, so don't bring like a big book bag, don't bring a big bag. You know, you want to bring stuff that's like very small and that can be, that can stay in sight because, you know, if obviously if a market is very busy, it allows pickpocketers to catch a bag, if you know what I mean. They can easily steal from you. So for me, I used to bring a fanny pack, but this time around, I'm just gonna bring this uh, little purse and I'm just gonna grip it like this. <laughs> so um, also I'm gonna pack my hair up because it gets hot. Like, I feel like as soon as you get to Lagos Island, the sun just hits different there. Like, the sun is just beaming. It's not that sunny today, so we should be good. Um, I'm gonna wear a light shirt, so something that I can easily change into in the case that I do wanna try on clothes, I can easily take this off and on. I'm wearing some shorts in the case I wanna try on some big pants or anything. I can just slide it on, or if I wanna try on a dress, I can just, whoop. And then we're just gonna wear some shoes, very comfortable shoes. Simple and I'm ready. Okay, and then also the face shield. And then I'm ready to go. So let me clean this and then just show you guys how cute this face shield is. I think it's so cute. This is the face shield. How cute is she? Because you know, sometimes the mask is really hot and I kind of just still need some air. Um, so I'm gonna be going to the market with this face shield on. I am still waiting for my aunt. She should be here any minute. So we'll see her when she gets here. And I'll see you guys in the car. But I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna get some cute pieces. I think today I'm gonna try to get some shoes. Because uh, I kind of forgot to pack some heels. Um, I want to get some tops, and then, then I'm also going to get some two pieces. I really love two piece sets a lot. Yeah, I also need to get a crochet needle because I want to redo my like my hair over. So yeah, I'm just going to get some hair stuff, some shoes, some clothes, and I'll see you guys in the car. Peace. So my aunt has finally decided to 
grace us with her presence. Do you see the time? This is someone that told me by nine we'll be in the market. It's 1 14 pm, guys. Do we take care? That's the life of a businesswoman. You <laughs> just come on, like, I can't control my time. Oh, dear. She's having a time. Too. See you guys. We're headed there now. So I'll see you guys when we get there. So it's how much? 120 k 120 k which is basically 300 dollars so let's see what i can buy today guys i like bright colors no i said i like bright colors like blue orange Oh my god, that was... It's always quite an experience when I go because like I told you guys, there are always so many people there. So apparently, for those of you who watch Big Brother Nigeria, you know exactly who I'm talking about. The way people couldn't stop calling me Nenji when I was there is ridiculous. So aside from the Oibo, um, Asawa, um, and the rest of that, and just the things that guys are saying to me, like... Listen, ladies, if you're going to go, just be prepared to receive a lot of compliments because that's to the point where it gets to be a little annoying, but like, whatever. Anyway. But this grocery shopping is very, very important because the way I've just been eating out, just been eating rice here, chicken here, just shama here like no so i'm planning to get brown rice today chickpea spinach kale that type of healthy stuff so i can just feel better about myself so i'll see you guys when i get there so i'm currently at nine to seven um a friend actually recommended the store to me let me just put this mask off now that there's no one by me. So yeah, a friend actually recommended this store to me because apparently I can find like a lot of things I could find in the States. And I do want to find like some healthier options. So I'm on the search for brown rice because I can't keep eating this white rice. Um, chickpeas and like just a bunch of different spices. I'm not going to bore you guys with my grocery list. But I will show you what I get once I leave and get home. And the prices seem to be like reasonably decent. It doesn't seem to be too expensive. But then again, like low-key, I still don't know like Naira like that. So I'm still using my calculator to just compare the prices. All right, y'all, this officially wraps up uh, my shopping grocery ship. I live in Lagos now. Like, look at me going grocery shopping. My groceries got up to like $117, which is something that I usually do pay like when I'm in the States. But I really did feel like, actually, did I think it was going to be cheaper here? Mm, I don't think I would say that, but I feel like I got a decent amount of stuff for $117. The problem is I'm not necessarily done grocery shopping yet. So let's see how much I end up spending in total. So the price was yeah, $44.58, which is the translation is like, I mean, the conversion is like $117. So I'd say I did okay today. I did okay. And I got most of the stuff I needed, which is great. Okay guys, so today I'm getting my nails done. 
embellished by Sarah James is gonna be doing my nails today and I'm so excited because we have literally been in communication for close to two years and the last time, actually not the last time I was here, the time before that I was here, we were supposed to do my nails but like timing and everything. But I was like, you know what? I need to get my nails done because I didn't come with my nails done. Like who does that? And I was like, wait, let me hit up Sarah. Let's see if she's still available and still interested. So today we are gonna be doing, um, what are we doing actually? Acrylics. Acrylic, okay. Yeah. But if you know Sarah, you know, if you check out her page, you'll see that she does very intricate, like unique type of design. So we're gonna do something kind of fun and funky today. Uh, we have a bunch of inspiration pictures from her page, but we don't know what we're gonna do yet, but I think this should be fun. So. I'll show you guys what this is like. Um, Sarah is based on the mainland. Yes. But she does travel. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm like confirming with her at the same time. Yes. And then you're also potentially relocating as well. So. Yeah. Um, we're moving to Ikeja. So Ikeja, it's still okay. on the mainland. Okay. Still on the mainland. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to move to the island much later. Okay. Yeah. just measured my nails guys in the case that I start doing press-ons so I was telling her that I'm someone that does not like press-ons because I feel as if I'm very rough with my hands and it's always falling off but Sarah over here is saying that if you're buying your nails from the drugstore that is what's gonna happen because usually their, their glue is very cheap yes it's not so great and also when you get a custom nail to like your actual custom nail shape it tends to like last longer so she just measured my nails now, and apparently I'm a medium when it comes to like coffin-shaped nails. So these are some press-ons that she actually is like working on. So these are like the tapered coffin. Okay. You can see that there's a difference between what I have here and what I have here. This is yeah. like a little, this is what you will call coffin. Okay. And then this is what I will call a ballerina, just like the flat ballerina shoes. Okay. Yeah, and then this is like a pointed, um, like okay. a sculpted pointed nails. You can see this is a little narrow. Mm -hmm. So if you were ordering something in this shape, mm -hmm. I would size you a little bigger. Okay. Yeah, because this will run small. Okay. And same as, as this ones too. You can see they have like this really, you can see the difference. Yeah. Okay, so if I got press-ons, because mm -hmm. I like coffins, I'm, I'm usually always going to do coffins. Okay. I would be... A small one. You, no, you'll be a large in this because this is tapered. Okay. And then you'll be a medium in this because this like is wide. Ballerine shape. Ballerine yeah. shape. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the difference. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a sign to this, guys. There I was literally is. saying a lot this. Of numbers. Everybody's name and numbers in wow. millimeters. We have 16 millimeters, 13, 14. Sarah is I not convert playing it. here. We're not playing. We're not playing. <laughs> okay, the butterflies match. Guys, this is a very serious conversation here. Very serious. What man. butterflies are we going to add to our nails? That is our worry today. <laughs> no, this is legit like a breakdown. She's, Sarah's like, okay, well, if we, if we do these, then we need to make sure that we have four. So, okay. Is it that we have four or we agree that we're doing this on here? On one. Or okay. maybe here. On one And hand. then this here. On so that hand. by the time you put your hands together, then mm -hmm. the, it, it forms oh, it completes the butterfly. Ooh, that is pretty. That's if we're doing these ones. That's why they're like half. So by the time you join them together, they're mm -hmm. two. Or we have these ones that already have like a set. Okay. So it's like two on one, two on one, then they don't join. Which one are you more drawn to? I think I like these, the right? ones where when you put your hands together. It's, yeah, yeah it creates a yeah, butterfly. Yeah. Sarah just added her nail and cuticle oil yes. that apparently is multi-purpose so you can use it on your face, mm -hmm. your hands, not just your cuticles and it's actually real lavender as well. Yes, in there. I love that. Guys, how pretty are my nails? No, I need to, I need more light so I can really show them. Let's see it. This is so pretty. Oh, Sarah was just saying that as we were talking about these nails, we didn't know where we would end up. And we ended up here that I love. And it's so pretty. So much. Guys, look at how pretty this looks. Can you see? Guys, I have been embellished by Sarah. <laughs> how cute are these? Love them. You can't talk to me anyhow. Uh, you cannot. You cannot talk to I her cannot. anyhow. Shout out to Chizzy. <laughs> yeah, Chizzy shout out to Chizzy. Story. Yes, yes. Wow. Hey guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning from Lagos. 
today's Wednesday and I'm excited about today because I'm getting, um, today's gonna be really productive, I feel. Um, reason being is because one, yesterday I was so excited about staying home all day. Now, if you know me, I'm a busybody and ever since I've been in Africa, I have stepped out every single day. All right guys, so I'm literally pulling up to Pop Central TV station now. I told you guys that I was headed to a TV station today. Got my matcha latte in my hand. I made like the best matcha latte today. Let me know if y'all want my recipe, it's really good. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys when I get inside. Shout out to the Medium Solutions. They hooked me up with um, an assistant. They've been hooking me up with an editor as well as videographer as well. I've been out here. So guys, if you're ever in Nigeria and you need help finding anything, whether it's an intern, an assistant, um, a videographer, an editor, like whatever, the Medium Solutions got you covered. So shameless plug, I guess, but like they've been, they've been so helpful to me here um, because like I said, I'm in a new country and I need to still be working, so I need an assistant, I need an editor, I need a videographer. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be meeting her for the first time today. Excited about that. Um, this is actually my first time having an assistant ever. So I'm like, oh my God, like, what am I doing? Like, I don't know what to do, like, what is she gonna do? But listen, your girl needs help because literally, since I've started uh, my journey working full time for myself, you, you, I feel like a lot of you guys know, as entrepreneurs and as content creators, we do everything for ourselves. Whether it's editing yourself, if you're a girl, if you're, or if you wear makeup, you're doing your hair, you're producing, you're coming up with content ideas, you're researching, you're pitching, you're, you know, your emails, like it's so much to do. So I feel like with this assistant, it's going to just help so much. And what else am I going to do today? I got my nails done. So I have somebody actually coming to deliver some rings to me. Um, one thing I like about Legos, I will say is that um, they have like a, a version of Amazon here called Jumio. But what I've realized is that you can literally, whether you want a ring, whether you want some hats, whether you want clothes, whether you want anything you want, if you can find someone who sells it on Instagram or um, Twitter or whatever, or even Facebook, whatever, if you find it and you need that product like today or tomorrow, they will literally send a dispatcher to your house and you can get it the same day. So for example, I wanted some rings. So I ordered, so I, I was able to find somebody on Instagram that sells like the rings that I want. And I spoke to her and I'm getting it delivered today. So like, to me, this is even better than Amazon Prime because it's like, maybe if I was in her area and maybe if I had hit her up earlier, I could have got it in the same day, but I'm getting it today. Like I literally just got the phone with the person and the driver's coming in like an hour. Um, obviously I'm paying for shipping though, but <laughs> which is, which is a thousand nine, okay. I'm getting a ring set, right? The ring set is um, valued at 2K. So 2K, because their bank rate right now is like 400. So 2,000 divided by 400, $5. So I got a ring set for $5, which is decent. I mean, that's something you can find at Forever 21. And the shipping is 1,000 Naira, which is $2.5, like 250. So that's like 750 for the whole thing. That's not bad to me. Um, so yeah, so I got some rings coming over. To go pick up my package, a dispatcher has come to deliver me a package. Good morning. How exciting is that? Oh. Hello. Good morning. Hey y'all, so I'm about to start breakfast. I'm gonna make eggs with tomatoes, onions, a little bit of pepper, some bacon, and I'm gonna have it with kale and plantain. So, watch me work. Today I'm making Nigerian styled eggs. So Nigerian egg stew basically is what I'm making. So I'm gonna try something new and I'm gonna blend these habanero peppers. And I'm going to throw one tomato in there. And then I'm also going to throw some garlic in there. So I can just make a little bit of my stew. And I'm gonna fry that first and then I'm gonna add the egg in it.
voila, breakfast made by yours truly. Let me go a little bit closer to the light. You got bacon, plantain, kale, egg stew, and avocado.